Tell how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say checkmate. Namaste! Grand Horizon, Big Cat. Welcome, or welcome back. Recon is a foot. Let's dive right in and unpack. Oh, you have 11 highly spiritual number, darling dears. It's a master number. It speaks about you being... Um, a creator, you're, you're, you're a visionary, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. A teacher. This is about you having done some form of introspection, some recon on yourself, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. You have the energy of the five. The five speaks about what your security, darling, dears. You've created a new form or level of security for yourself. The energy of the five speaks about it being an unstable foundation, a dysfunctional background, I don't know, amongst the bottom feeders, you, was, you wasn't in the, at the right place, on the right team, darling dears. You've changed your foundation, the energy of the six is cooperation, darling dears. Somebody wants you to cooperate with them. They would like to come back and cooperate. Listen, we all talked about, listen, bestie, oi, we spoke about the Lot's Wife Syndrome. Not for the big cat, it's not fabulous, gorgeous or lovely. The energy of the 11 goes down to a 2. The number 2, your birth date may be the 2nd, the 11th, the 20th, or the 29th. Your luckiest numbers over the next few days will be 1, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Mm -hmm. Someone or someone is about to reap the benefits of a past reward. But then again, you're on a master number, darling dears. An 11, this is a blessing and a gift, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It means that you've overcome some kind of situation, possibly the wrong team. Mm -hmm. The number two is ruled by the astrological aspect of the opposition, darling dears. It speaks about being separate from a situation, but it also speaks about being in attraction mode. It's The number two is ruled by the moon. Um, the message of the moon is about bad energy darling there's deception fake friends secret enemies um disgruntled work i don't know darling there's a whole bushel of foolishness darling there's people don't like the security you've created for yourself mm -hmm. It's about substance, darling dears. People are looking at your material substance, moon energy, female energy. You could be a female. This is someone from your past or someone who is about to be a part of your past. Okay? Someone that you possibly had a domestic life with, darling dears. Could be in a sense of um, a partnership, a family relationship, whatever it was, darling dears. It's definite alienation from that situation. From the masses. You're different. The energy of the 11 is saying this. Maybe you are the black sheep, darling dears. You've learned to walk your own path. Moon energy could also speak about the cutting off soul ties, cutting out of a situation, the wrong team. Mm -hmm. You have the energy of the 11. The 11 speaks about ending of a friendship, darling dears. Some kind of friendship, friendship group. The 11 is also the 11th house, darling dears. The 11th house rules your hopes and wishes, but it's also about your groups. Mm -hmm. Your friends, your business contacts, your acquaintances, associates. Yeah, you're severing a group, darling dears. A team that's not for you. The 11th house also rules stepchildren. Maybe somebody's cutting contact with stepchildren. The 11th house also rules... Older siblings, darling dears. Mm -hmm. And it, 
it also rules t- maybe you've blocked them on everything darling dear you've cut off a team <laughs> okay the dice ain't playing today darling dears mm-hmm. the energy of the five six if you're looking for a job darling dears you're about to find your dream job why you're being what divinely guided for others you're going to be meeting a like-minded soul and you it's like like attracting like you're going to recognize this person from the first conversation maybe on the new job um you may have a business but it's definitely something that you've created darling dears life path 11 is a creator mm-hmm. your luckiest days over the next few days will be Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. The number two is also associated with the letters B, K, and T. Mm-hmm. The moon itself is associated with letters B, K, and R. All right. The 11 is represented by the justice card in Tarot, darling, dears. Yep. Justice, um, bringing balance to a situation, coming to a conclusion. Um, this is going to create, it's a season of what? Creating freedom for yourself, but a painful ending for others, darling dears. Mm-hmm. Someone is also going to be seeking legal, situ- legal, si- legal. For some kind of defamation of character, darling dears. You best speak the truth, darling dears. Mm-hmm. Especially in the age of Aquarius. Where the truth roof pinkies up is the way to go. Mm-hmm. Especially if Pluto about to fall into Aquarius for the next 19 years. You better tell the truth to yourself and the world. Right. Okay. Definitely a legal matter is going to be taken going to be taken up, darling. Is when it will go in your favour. Um, something to do with the buttocks and the lower back. Somebody needs to go for a health checkup, darling. Dears. Tightening of the muscles, something to do with the vertebrae. Um, mm-hmm. It's about the decisions that you're making is creating more, um, more the right. You're terraforming. Yeah, you're doing terraforming, darling dears. It's you're making a new foundation, darling dears, which is going to attract the right like-minded souls to you, darling dears. The right situations, synchronicities, and all that, because there's no such thing as coincidence, darling dears. Mm-hmm. As I was saying, it's the seventh house. The seventh house is um, of contractual partnerships, but it's also open enemies. So they're going from the hidden to the open, darling dears. Yes, people that are all once your peers. Mm-hmm. Somebody's having an issue with an agent. Something to do with a contract or a negotiation, darling dears. The seventh house also rules the lower courts. As I said, it's it's going to go in your favour. Something to do with a paternal grandfather as well. Mm-hmm. All right, let's carry on, darling dears. Let's go with the intuitive messages first, see what comes out. We've got what? Please don't bring up the past. I don't live there anymore. Good golly and gosh, you don't want to talk to no one. Easter Island and Steve, wonder. Base of the deck, right? What's this? They've got an STD, darling dears, of the mind, body, soul. Yeah, a death sentence for some, darling dears. Some, and again, it's saying seek medical. Yep, and it's also saying a spiritual treatment, darling dears. Somebody is cutting soul ties, darling dears. You're in the spotlight. They've got the evil eye on you, darling dears, as you step into fame. Maybe through sponsorship grants, you're winning at something, darling dears. Something that you work towards. Because the spotlight is also represented by what? The star card, darling dears. You may even be getting the backing of a benefactor, somebody who's going to support you. Maybe you'll be joining an organization which is going to give you more resources. Yeah, yeah. What's this? You may have a platform, darling dears, but you're spiritually gifted. Yeah. This person saw you as something to do, darling dears. Personal people, that this this team that you no longer frequent. When you was on the wrong team, darling dears, you, you was allowing yourself to be handled. 
by incompetent bottom feeders. They did not have the right game plan to utilize your expertise, so they tried to dumb you down, tried to kill you with the gossip, darling. There's the subterfuge, the bull swanky, the passive aggressive, the jealousy, the envy. The... They did it all. They did it all. They did that shit. Mm -hmm. Now they see that you're no one's fool, darling. There's you are a big cat. They should have known better than to cheat you out of what you, what is rightfully yours, darling, dears. What's that? Your own free will and choice. And you've chosen to what? Cut ties to a team that is not for you. You've been able to maximize your potential. You've learned the full length and breadth of Matthew 5.30, darling, dears. If the right hand offends you, you must cut it off. You can't grow another, darling, dears, but, but... That same hand can't what stab you. Yeah. Back front neck tabbers, darling dears. Pinkies. So this is a thumbs down for them, darling dear. Thumbs down. Boo. Watching you, darling dears. Watching you. Mm. They said the body dies say on the down low, on the quiet. It may even be someone on a down low. Leading a double, double life. Hiding in the closet. Stripping. Ooh. S-E-X for money, a house thief, and somebody with HIV, herpes, or hepatitis B that goes right with the STD, kicking in their pantaloon like Jackie Chan. Mm -hmm. Something to do with a pregnancy and black magic, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. Somebody's about to lose their abundance. Why? Because they, they affected someone's pregnancy, darling dears, through magic, or it could be through the what? The negative vibes around her giving someone who is pregnant an STD. Lord and Lord and Lord. Woo, child. Mm-mm. This is what? This is a... Where's my shoes, Naive? These progeny come in here and they touch my things. And, and then it makes me look like I'm I'm speaking to some some of the voices. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to leave this investigation for another time. And I was being smooth with it as well. Good golly and gosh. Boon and a s to the progeny with their touchy fingers. Anyway, let's press on, darling dears. Yeah, you're in the spotlight, darling dears. So they're watching you. Sputnik hasn't forgotten you. Mm -hmm. They're watching you step onto a spiritual path. They came across as a caring partner, but it really was what recon for them, darling dears. They had to have something else to talk about. Why? Their, their life is an empty vessel, darling dears, of envy, hate, and, hate and jealousy, as well as what? They're full of STDs. What did it say on the thing? HIV, herpes, and a hepatitis B. Good golly and gosh. They need to put a spotlight on their genitalia, blue light, darling dears, and handcuffs on themselves. It'd be a menace to society. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm still looking for it. I'm looking for my fan. You know when your eyes are betraying? My eyes, are, my eyes made me stand up and I wasn't going to stand up. Right, I still didn't find it. So how about that? Anyhow, let's carry on. Let's get your Oracle Ancestral message about this. Let's talk about, no, let's talk about this person who is sick, darling, dears. And look, I told you, hillbilly investigations are being launched, darling, dears. Why? Because they're jealous. And all they can do is think about you, darling, dears. Yes. And we'll never tell their what cohorts, the other ones, the other what low-hanging fruit, what's really going through their mind, what is powering all of their envy, hate, and jealousy towards you. Well, it is what it is. You have to leave the team, darling, dears. You had to. As I said, your expertise was not being utilized correctly around. You couldn't be around the jealous. <laughs> who's looking who's looking at you with their looking, looking, lurking eyes. Mm, lurking with the loitering eyes, darling, dears. Yeah, they're worried about the foundation that you've created for yourself, darling, dears. Yeah. Proper tired, darling dears. Tired, 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 sick and tired. You're like, please miss me with the bull swanky. Yeah. They're worried about you, babe. They're worried. Because you're living out loud and they're disappointed because you are a free spirit, darling dears. Whatever you was building around them, darling dears, they were paying close attention. These are the same ones that will see you, I don't know, write a book, 
have your own platform, darling dears. Get a new job, that upgrade, whatever. And they'll be so quiet at your victories, darling dears. But oh my God, they'll be right there out loud when you was going through what? The dark part of your life. They was amused, darling dears. You was a plaything for their boredom. This wrong team. Well, if they're bored, if you're bored or they're bored, it means they're a boring person. You can't even entertain your own self. Good God. Yeah. A cough. Listen, li listen. Well, they do tell them to cough when they're holding on to their scrotum, don't they? Well, I had to say, darling dears, it's all about the medical. Mmm. Yeah. Watching you, darling dears. They're watching you get all of this good luck. It's an issue. They're afraid, darling dears. It says that they're scared. They're scared of what you're becoming. Mm-hmm. Thumbs down. Boo. Yeah. Thumbs down. <laughs> they're worried, mate. All I can do is think on you, darling dears. The wrong team. Tell us some more about the wrong team. Let's use the soul cards. Base of the deck. You've got your equilibrium and balance back, darling dears. This is why you on your path to what a spiritual ascension, darling dears. You learn to go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. That's what brings the balance, darling dears, the balance. Yeah, because you was in service to them, darling dears. I feel good when I can help others. Maybe you are giving a service, but as I said, we saw a platform. It could be a business. You could be in the public facing service, darling dears. Yeah. The answer is the same. They're under judgment. They're on the docket. On Keeper, darling, there's nothing like being in spiritual court. And they got a itchy and scratchy show. Good God. The genitalia is on fire. <laughs> yeah. I hope Saron is watching you, darling. There's not wishing you very... They're not wishing you well, darling. There's and they hate your eyelashes. And as I told you before, why do they hate your eyelashes? Because they're attached to you. Mm -hmm. I find inner strength to face fear with... Face it with confidence, darling, dears. Face everything and rose. That's what you did. They're in judge, under judgment, darling, dears. This is karma. Because you left the wrong team who was always on the download, darling, dears. A hoodwinker of the truth. A kidnapper of the truth. Matter of fact... Mm -mm. Somebody used black magic to get rid of a, a pregnancy. Yeah, they were strong in it, mate. They were focused, right? And they did it why? Because of envy, darling dears. Good God, oh gosh. Mm. Wow. Why? Forgiveness is key, darling dears. We forgive them. Why do we forgive them? Because it's like taking the poison and waiting for someone to die. And you want to be as light as, as a bird, darling dears. A big cat bird. Matter of fact, an ibex. Big cat bird. How about that? Fist bump. Mm-hmm. It's a lot, darling dears. It's a lot. Let's get the pink cards. There's a lot of pink cards in. That's why I went for the pink. What else do we need to know before we press on at a hot trot? No one's checking for you, blood. No one cares. No, you ain't looking for them. You're busy. You're busy. <laughs> what did I say? The envy, jealousy, and hate, darling dears. Mm -mm. They can't understand how you are able to what continue to build. And it looks like you are an army of one, darling dears. Why? Because you like your own... You like you. You love you. You love your clavicle bone. You love your little pinky. Yes, you took it one one section at a time, darling dears. Being around those on the down low is there. What wicked old intent, darling dears, taught you a hard lesson in loving yourself. Your new life is their worst nightmare. What did I say? All they do is think about you, darling dears, but they deny it to themselves and anyone else around them. Right? Yeah, continue to disappoint them, blood. <laughs> These selfish what? Dummy bats. They, them, and um. That's who it is. They, them, and um. Mm -hmm. Final card. 
They hated when you spoke about your accomplishments. Didn't I say they were silent whenever you was winning? Yeah, they didn't like it. Right? Hmm. Oh well, my bad. I'm on point now. Listen, listen. <laughs> You're like, whoops, was I sharing my petticoat? Let me let me remove myself from the petticoat peepers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This and that. All right. We're gonna go right in. What did I say? The ancestors said it. They're under judgment, darling dears. They're getting it. These are people or a person, the wrong team, that would like to come back, darling dears. Why? They see the opportunities you've created for yourself. We saw it with what? The five. You're creating a stable foundation, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You're about to make a major decision. You're about to make a major big cap move. Bestie, you're possibly thinking, I, I can't think. Listen. When God says move, you say just like that. When the time is right, everything is in God's time, darling. There's judgment, yeah? Don't rush. And don't go around there picking things for yourself. Why? Not yet, darling. There's wait for the intel. You'll know it. You'll feel it in your solar plexus. You'll see it in a dream, darling. There's this is Archangel Michael at your back, darling. There's Archangel Michael is represented by the solar plexus. Mm -hmm. Um... It's ruled by a big cat Leo energy, sun energy, fifth house. Something new is coming towards you, darling. There's something that you've cre something that you've created. You're no longer confused about what you want, but divine is telling you to wait for the right moment. You'll know when. Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> Woo chat. Right, so let's press. Pr let's press on. I mean, Neely was talking in what double Dutch? What was the event or the factor that made you leave this wrong team? Got Queen of Wands. Yes, no support, darling dears. Queen of Wands with the mask wearing. This is a gossip, darling dears. Someone who tried to break you mentally, physically, emotionally. It also speaks about the hiding of an inheritance, darling dears. Something that they kept for themselves. Yes, yes, yes. They planned, they plotted it, and they strategized, darling dears. And what did they win from all that planning? Look, and manipulation. Medition energy, darling dears. Mmm. Mmm. Listen, the shade, darling dears, the shade. This is, the, listen, they wanted to affect your, your stability. They're not happy with the security that you've created yourself. The magician energy speaks about um, short journey. Somebody would like to travel towards you, darling dears. This is someone that would like to come back. Queen of Wands is someone that doesn't look like what they've been through. You look, you look good, darling dears. It also speaks about your highly intuitive, highly spiritual yeah, you know what you want. And you don't want to go back to something that can never be fixed. This is the breaking of a generational curse, darling dears. This is you stepping into your what? Intuition era, darling dears. The magician is what? High in intellect and communication. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about you being an initiator, darling dears. Some of you may even have a spiritual business. Moon energy. Mm. This person is definitely your personal. This team is from your past. It could be a mother or they could be mothers or mother foes, darling. There's a mother foot or a foot or mother. Mm -hmm. You've changed your, your habits. They feel as though you've changed your habits since you've cut off this particular team. Something you had an issue to do with your stomach. Um, around your stomach, your breasts, your pancreas. So it was affecting your what? Your sacral chakra. Yes, be a bit. Your heart chakra. Your breast area could all have been cyst, darling. This may even have been the big C. You was having physical issues around them. But there was always envy, hate and jealousy. Yeah, and confusion. They gossip, darling. Yeah, they like to fight. And it's the energy of the five again. You had to be the one to change the situation. Mmm. But they're still speaking about you, darling dears. They want to know how you're able to manifest. But well, you've got the bad ass alchemist ways. Yeah, they feel stuck, darling dears. I told you they're focused on you. The spotlight is on you. Again, Queen of Cups. When we see two queens on the tableau, darling dears, it speaks about what? Lean in, bestie. 
lean in, right? Gossip is gossip. They're curious because this is, they don't know what's going on with your bank balance, your mental health, no, nothing, darling, dears. Not your your day-to-day -day business, right? No, 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 This is someone who's living in the past and judging you on the past. Yeah. Yes. Someone who, what? Didn't mind disappointing you, darling, dears. They didn't mind throwing you on the prior. You was the sacrificial cat. Mmm. Mmm. But you've got a new outlook on life. Four of cups in the reverse. This is you. Look, always pay attention to the eyes. You're looking at the magician. So you're looking at what you're manifesting at this moment in time, darling, dears. Yes. You've got con con complete control of your emotions. Queen of Cups. You're extremely nurturing to them. But all, all these people and all their energies, all they are is Knight of Cups in reverse. It's a distraction. Knight of Cups could also represent family, darling, dears. Someone that... Listen, they broke your heart, they betrayed you, and they're still talking about you. Listen, your name is in their mouth, like chewing gum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they don't know, darling dears. They want to know where your income's truly coming from. As I said, we've got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. You could even be a reader, darling dears. You're about to go into the spotlight, darling dears. Why? Because you enjoy your own company. And in your own company, you've what? Upgraded your, your cranium. Your knowledge it could be the knowledge of the occult, darling dears. Tarot, astrology, numerology, palmistry. Mm-hmm. But you heal, you heal with your hands and your words. Queen of Wands is someone who's assertive. Um, you've got a new confidence about yourself. This is what they don't like. Yeah. Palace of Wands on its face, darling dears. This is arguments and fights. They're fighting amongst themselves, darling dear. Yes. Good golly and God. Mm. Nine of Peas on its face, darling dears. It speaks about they're going through financial setbacks. This is someone who's working really hard. And nine of peas on its face is jealousy, darling dears. What did I just tell you? The envy, jealousy and hate because of the choices that you've made for yourself. Why? Because you was disturbed, darling dears. You was on a knife's edge. You was singing the Jones Girl song. Who can I run to? Yes! Somebody knocking my front door. Please hold on. I'll be right back. The bell is confirmation.